well, month of March. And if you show up 24 minutes late, that's because I put 24 minutes late on the when the show started, 3.30. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that happened. It just happened. Um, but you can watch it in reverse, and it's all the better. We have a wonderful cast today. To, and this isn't the armchair show, even though it says it, but if you can, you should watch the armchair fantasy show because it's really great, but it's on Wednesday nights. Um, this is actually in no particular order, mock draft. We are going to draft our favorite sports movies. And for my sake, we're using the term loosely because I don't really like sports movies because they're designed to make you cry, I think. So Sometimes. they are like they always have that Sometimes. Indian, and you're like, oh, it's so great. So um, the order we have the wonderful and always special Herms. How you doing? How you doing there, sir? I am doing well. I really like Nationals. sports. <laughs> well, except for the Washington Nationals. Everything else about my life is going fine. Uh, I like sports. <laughs> I like movies, and I like movies about sports. So this is wow. going to be mm. a perfect time. Yeah. This is Would have been diagram for you. <laughs> exactly. Just, <laughs> world's collide. Going second will be Jamie, who is kind enough to join us while he's at work. I hope I don't get him in trouble when I say that. Um, how you doing, Jamie? Uh, doing all right. Glad to be I'm here. I'm glad you're outside. It looks nice out there. No no tornado warnings. Uh, a little bit <laughs> I was going to say, it looks chilly right. to me. Oh, I like chilly. Um, yeah. Going third will be the leader of other robots i got it right didn't i yeah exactly yes the lead singer and band person of other robots ralph dixon how you doing ralph pretty good pretty good also following baseball got some money on it Get on the yankees <laughs> not very good <laughs> <laughs> wow yankees and nationals we have it going on no, I'm and, <laughs> oh mets yeah yeah don't bet on your own teams Oh. No, nah, they got washed out today. I would never be on the Mets. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> going Giants. fourth will be I myself. Know. I'm sorry. Who I don't watch baseball. I'm not going to lie. I think it's the longest sport in history. It is. <laughs> and none of my, oh, only one of my favorite movies is a baseball movie, and it's technically not a baseball movie. And going last will be Mr. Instagram influencer himself, Shannon. I watch, Alan. um, <laughs> oh god what's it called i watch recaps of baseball on youtube <laughs> there you go john, i watch john boy media is what i watch john boy and like media. i watch it and i really still don't know what's happening in the season but it's great breakdowns and he basically talks about how when people get ejected and he like breaks it down what people are saying to the man to the uh to the refs umpires refs. it's a <laughs> it's a good youtube channel i definitely i'm with that it is and i like like I've refed in my life and I love rules within a game, like societal rules, hmm, rules in a game. I do love because I want a fair playing field and umpires are just like these weird, too much power kind of thing. And I love going at them. Even in my own sports, like when I play, like I fucking go at the refs and I've been in their position, but I like going at them. So. <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine if I was a professional athlete. I mean, I think I would be chill because I'm usually pretty chill. But I also like if they get something wrong, that's when I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> isn't your job to know the rules? And I'm knowing the rules for you. Now I'm doing your job and my job. It's over. It's over. It's over. Um, also, uh, because of my lack of technical techno technology and speaking. Um, the wonderful spreadsheet that Jeff Lambert made for me for the No Particular Order podcast will now will now be handwritten, old school, seven rounds, like I said. Um, I will keep you up to date, and I warn them, like I only have maybe eight or nine movies, so if one of them says one of mine, I might forget to write it down, just pre-warning. It happens, it happens, I forget a lot of things. There's only so much knowledge, have you guys seen those Uber commercials? Only so much knowledge I can hold up here. Everything else mm. I just forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Herm. You got to move some RAM around. <laughs> one, one. Herm, you're up. What is your first pick for the best sports movie? All right. I mean, yes. it's not it's not the best, but it's my favorite and probably the first one I ever watched. Uh, the Sandlot. Uh, it, oh. it's, it, there's, no there's no better pick. There's no better pick. 
Yeah, dude, like half half the movie's not even about them actually playing baseball. It's just a bunch of kids running around in the '60s, you know, doing a bunch of debaucherous stuff, hanging out at the, the pools, <laughs> and stuff. doing whatever, and like stuff blows up. But like, you know, it's just it's a great it's a great movie. It's definitely a classic, and you know, there's just there's no arguing it. Anybody who's seen The Sandlot likes The Sandlot. I would like to actually, you know what? No, I don't want to meet somebody who's seen it and was like, meh. That sucks because, like, that just means you have terrible taste. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> it's it's the best one by far. Like, it's not Academy Award winning. It's not you know, it's not you know Robert De Niro being a boxer or whatever you know. So, but at the same time, it's you know, it's it's good old fashioned American nostalgia. Um, I, I I assume you all have seen The Sandlot. Is that what's happening? It's a perfect movie. Okay, I I've never seen it. It's based on Looney Tunes. Tinge. Tinge of uh, sexual assault, but otherwise, oh, yeah. well, tinge yeah. of sexual assault. <laughs> it was the sixties. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. All right, Jamie, pop it in. What's um, your pick for your favorite sports movie? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Major League. It's a movie about nice. the Cleveland Indians and uh, oh. how bad they sucked, and then they started getting really good. So with crackhead when Charlie actual King. Indians, yeah, wild thing. <laughs> yeah, wild thing. Uh, I've actually seen I think that Wesley movie. Snipes was in it. Uh, no. But yeah, so when uh, the real baseball down. team sucks, I always can just put that in and you know, <laughs> watch, them, watch them win. <laughs> that is that is a clear strategy for anyone who, you know, <laughs> has a baseball team that sucks. Um, Ralphie. All right. I'm going to go with the original White Man Can't Jump. Ah! I just watched one it for I the might first time like down. a year ago, and it was so funny, man. Just seeing like everybody in those early '90s like clothes and everything and shit. Like That's that. the first time you've seen Perez. it. What? You saw it the first time a year ago? Yeah. Uh, oh, the movie came out in 1992. Hey, don't yell at him, please. I was two years old. <laughs> <laughs> you were two years old in 1992. I was only two. But it was I'm funny, proud. That you, I'm proud it. that you saw it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice time capsule. Rosie Perez is in there, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Uh, Wesley Snipes, guy. Woody Harrelson. Good Woody Harrelson, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So good, Re man. Rosie like, Perez has a great... They're like, what up? <laughs> yeah. He has a great story about this night. One time she went to, I guess, Studio 54, went some club in New York and doing, and she like accidentally got dosed with acid. Great story. Accidentally Like in real life or... Uh, in real life. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine... But she said really she had a great time. Can you imagine Rosie Perez's voice on acid? Not it. I'm trying to think right now. <laughs> no, dream, no. That's a dream scenario. <laughs> that's a dream scenario. <laughs> ah, Luis Vasquez, my endearing brother-in-law, jumps in with Fight Club, which isn't on my list either. So I'm cool with that. Um, my 101 is the original Brian song. James Kahn, Billy D. Williams. I, it's the first, I think it might be the first sports movie I ever saw. And which is why I don't watch any more sports movie because it is a tearjerker. <laughs> and, the cancer, right? Yeah, Piccolo, black and white athletes uniting during the civil rights times, their wives making everything better. Yeah, it's all that. It's all that, and then a box of rocks. So mm -hmm. yeah. Brian Song, first one, original, not the remake, not the TV show. Um, <laughs> Shannon, one hundred one, two hundred one. Okay. Um... I'm going to go with my favorite. Okay. <clears throat> and it's going to be, because like Sandlot is like, it was a great pick. by all means, <laughs> the best kids sports movie of all time. It's one of the best sports movies of all time. It's unassailable. It's make sure it's for number one. My absolute favorite uh, is Mighty Ducks D2. Oh, shit. The other D3 is underrated. D1 is fine. <laughs> it's good. I love it. Like, I would love to have a Hawks jersey in my life. Um, but D2 is just so good. Inspired so many kids to get a pair of rollerblades and adults. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mighty Ducks D2. The cover was weird because it had, like, the Jamaican team and then them. <laughs> and there was, like, a bubble on it. But, like, they never – they or Trinidad and Tobago, whatever. There's, like, a very small snippet of the movie. They play that, whatever. Emilio Estevez, he just fucks. He's incredible. <laughs> I love him. Uh, Joshua Jackson, the Charlie Conway. I'll watch practically anything he's in because of Mighty Ducks. Um, he does some really good things later in his career. Love the guy. 
Uh, talking about Bash Brothers, sick for the rest of my life. You know, there's just so many takeaways from that movie and things. And the, I think a sign of a good movie is that you're still quoting it however many years later. And I'm still doing those kind of things. The movie's Money. great. Money Ducks too, And you're 201? Um, okay, so... God, there's so many good ones. And you are right about Tear Jerkers. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one that I just watched the most or watch the most is probably Friday Night Lights. Oh, with you, Bob Thornton. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, we put baseball movies on here. Baseball movies, according to Bill Simmons, are like the most cinematic and easiest to like get the drama going. And believe me, I almost went on something else. That said, Friday Night Lights, <laughs> the movie, the show, love it. The movie. It gets you going, like the music, the way it builds everything. Oh, God. Coach, the wife, Tammy. Oh, my God. Dude, Just the, the, movie, the movie itself, like, I'm mad because, so the movie introduced me to the band Explosions in the Sky. Which I went to go see recently, and I cried. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Yeah, no, so, yeah, because I, I have a, I have an Explosions in the Sky tattoo on my arm. Because, like, I got really into them, and, like, I've seen them multiple times and stuff, and it's all because of the yeah. score that they did for the film so it's like i was wait i was saving that i i thought i was going to be safe <laughs> and just like keeping that tucked away but no we got no 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 no, no. not from not from this guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can and the thing is they lose at the end a little spoiler alert for everybody for this 20 something year old movie but they lose <laughs> at the end and like the amount of times i reference booby miles in my life get the fuck out of here nobody knows what i'm talking about nobody knows what i'm going on about but i talk about it and like <laughs> the movie's great and they lose in the end and that even that is great because i love endings and i love an ending where like it's not exactly what you wanted and then taylor kitsch is the fullback in the movie Ooh, what a smoke show <laughs> um i i okay i've never seen friday night lights although you told me to and i tried to watch it and it, you had to pay for it and i was like i'm not paying for this do you want me to venmo you four dollars so you can <laughs> if you would it? yeah I, I, <laughs> That would be cool. I'll text you after this and I'll send okay. you $4. Thank you. And then I'll watch Friday Night Lights. It's also it's got Tim McGraw in it too. So let's not oh, discount shit. the cast up and down this thing. It's Billy Bob Thornton is the coach, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. All right. My 201 is Bull Durham. And it's only because of Susan Sarandon's character. Like that's the only thing I remember from the movie. And she was like the greatest thing ever for the baseball team and she was the greatest thing ever for anyone watching it so bull durham is my 201 and that's why ralphie all right so i've never seen friday night lights but i have seen varsity yep. blues that's gonna be my varsity favorite. blues yeah it's not james the same Vander movie Beek. is it the same movie no no it's with what james vanderbeek and he talks oh. like a man, he talks Wait. like a man i, I thought james vanderbeek was in I friday night lights no no, no. Okay. No, I don't want John your Horst life. <laughs> it, it was so funny, man. He sounds just like Peyton Manning when he talks. That he'll really draw. All right. Be, be easy here. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> Plus, you know, Varsity Blues. All right. Which I actually may be getting Varsity Blues and Friday Night Lights mixed up. Sorry. Um, That's okay. Uh, Jamie. Also, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's his name? Now I forgot his name. The guy that died in the car crash that's in Fast and Furious. Chris. Oh, not Chris. Paul, Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Paul Walker is also in Varsity Blues. Holy oh, yeah, shit! Yeah, he's the, the the guy gets hurt. That's a movie yeah. that they do a little too. There's some things in that that's like woo, could, a little spicy today. But honestly, great watch for people <laughs> our age. Uh, I really do think I was getting Friday Night Lights and Varsity Blues mixed up because I do think I thought both those guys were in Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Who's the quarterback in Friday Night Lights? Uh, oh, God, I'm going to forget his name. He's in one of those CI NCIS shows. Yeah, he's, he's like uh, in NCIS New Orleans. Yeah. I'm oh, the guy name. with the Southern accent? Really yes. Mm -hmm. The guy with the New Orleans yeah. accent? Okay. Yeah. And I he's great. He gives, I mean, he just is serving in Friday Night Lights. I can't wait to send you this money. <laughs> I, You know what? That might be my favorite phrase of all time when people say that to me. I can't mm -hmm. wait to send you money. <laughs> um, Jamie, you're 201. Uh, just one thing on Varsity Blues. It also has that iconic uh, whipped cream bikini. Scene. <laughs> you know what? I didn't I didn't mention it so I could give you space to mention it. 
Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> With Tara Reed. Yeah. Uh, is that right? No, it's not Tara Reed. It's uh somebody else. I can't remember. Is it not? Mm -mm. Like I should look up the time. cast, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I wanted to give you. I, I wanted to give you space for that, Jamie. I'm glad you <laughs> you filled it appropriately. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Happy Gilmore with Adam Sandler. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. it's a golf, uh, golf slash hockey movie kind of. Uh, but I just love when he fights uh, Bob Barker. That was <laughs> just that is the only reason final. I put Happy Gilmore down on mine. The Bob Barker oh, cameo was like then he fights an alligator <laughs> or a crocodile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The greatest uh, just tap cameo. it in. Just tap <laughs> it in. Just a little tap. <laughs> little tap -roo. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, that's a sign. That's again a sign of a great movie is when you're quoting it 30 years later. The 90s were 30 years ago. Wow. Yeah. The Bob Barker cameo is like probably one of the better cameos I've ever seen in any movie. Like, and then I heard they're making they a sequel. They are. <sighs> yeah, yeah, they're Adam, making a happy Gilmore too. still be in it. Um, my sister yeah, is going to be the same, same ass and everything. Because I'm not putting her things down. But the reason I'm not putting hers down is because they're all mine, Terry. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those are the ones I picked, so I'm not putting yours on the screen yet. Quit texting me. Um, her, <laughs> 201. All right. Uh, she, I mean... All right, no one's gonna pick this, and it's probably a waste of an early pick. But like, I don't care uh, because Adam Sandler was just brought up. Uh, my favorite Adam Sandler sports movie is the one that he recently did on Netflix, Hustle. Uh, 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 that was on mine. Thank you. Yeah, like so. I mean, for those who haven't seen, basically, he's just you know he's like a professional basketball scout, kind of on the outs, like with his job or whatever. He goes overseas and he finds this like Spanish kid who's like super good at playing basketball and kind of just takes him under his wing and like mentors him and builds him up as a prospect and stuff. And like I know, like Adam Sandler has done like Happy Gilmore, you know, I, other sports movies. I won't say the names because they'll probably get picked at some point later. But we all know what they are, like. <laughs> This one's my favorite because, like, he still has like funny moments or whatever, but like, it's it's a it's a serious movie, you know, and like he mm -hmm. acts super well, and just the performances because like the two like the main basketball character and like his rival are also both like actual NBA players. So the fact Anthony that they Edwards. were like, yeah, so like the fact that they were really good actors as well was like, okay, cool, like this actually works super well. So if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Check it out, like that. I think that's probably th it's either that or above the rim, or like my two favorite basketball movies, probably. Like that's Queen Latifah plays at. his wife. Just throwing that. That out too. There. Yes. <laughs> yes. And she is also good. She's also very good. Queen Latifah. Adam Sandler is in on any movie that he is allowed to wear his normal dress in, <laughs> which is just basketball <laughs> shorts, just left hands and hockey yep. shirts. Like he's like, <laughs> if I can wear basketball shorts then i'll do I'm the in. movie yeah <laughs> i'll do the movie I'm in. um 301 erms all right well geez this one barely has anything to do with actually no it's no it's not technically a sports movie but it has a lot to do with sports and you said that we could you know kind of you know play with the rules a little bit uh silver linings playbook is a very very good movie especially because of like how much you know the philadelphia eagles are like a pretty you know important like through line to the whole thing like bradley cooper jennifer lawrence like i think jennifer lawrence is the only one who won an oscar from it but like it got nominated for all sorts of stuff it was super cool mm -hmm. uh obviously like pretty sad movie uh you know not super great very heavy dealing with like mental health themes and stuff but like it ends really nicely and i you know it's just, and it has to do with sports because of the Eagles okay. and exactly. there's stuff, you know, people, they wear Eagles jerseys and they talk about the game being on TV <laughs> and stuff a lot. So it counts. And <laughs> it that's count. what I'm going with. We're going with the colony. It's fair. It counts. Probably my favorite Jennifer Lawrence movie. Yeah. Really? She's very good. Yeah. In it. She's good in it. It's probably my favorite. Jamie. Hi. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with little giants. It's, uh, oh, another fuck. one I used to grow up on. <laughs> That is the best sports movie of all time. God. I mean, it's got uh, what? Al Bundy's in it. Um, Ed O'Neill. Yeah, Honey, I Trunk the Kids. Yeah, Rick Moranis. Um, and then I actually made a meme the other day. It didn't really catch on. 
Uh, but <laughs> you know that kid that can't catch the ball and he puts that uh, sticky stuff on his yeah. hands? Mm -hmm. um, so I made the meme with the picture of the kid with the sticky stuff on his hands saying, uh, did you know that Quentin Johnston was in Little Giants? Mm. Oh, uh, the only person that thought that was funny was the pot father on his show <laughs> he started laughing at it but... and he gave us the play the annexation annexation of puerto rico yes, yes. Which, yep. great play and also you know what very empowering for you know icebox yeah she's just studly <laughs> you know she's in a skirt tackling dudes mm -hmm. fucking killer love it I don't think I've ever seen Little Giants. In fact, I know oh, I have No, I'll, I'll it let you borrow it. I got it on VHS. Is it better than Friday Night Lights? <laughs> no. It's a, okay. more of a kid's movie. Yeah, Yeah, I can only like watch just, like one sports movie a month. So Friday Night Lights is taking up my April. Um, Ralph. Damn, Do you need me right. to send you like a monthly allowance so you can rent these or? <laughs> I think we need to talk about that. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to go with Dodgeball. <laughs> ESPN 8, the Yocho. Tremendous also, pick. Also, uh, what was I it? was literally going to pick Dodgeball, but I thought it would have came back. <laughs> I, I like to have the headcanon where Ben Stiller and Happy Gilmore, Ben Stiller and Heavyweights, and Ben Stiller and Dodgeball are the, all the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because you, you see in Heavyweights, where he goes there and he comes like a like little dictator, he's in the old folks' home, he's like yelling at the, parent, the grandparents and shit. Then mm -hmm. he's this guy here, man. <laughs> Yeah, definitely oh, the heavy the heavyweights to uh, dodgeball. It does match up timeline oh, yeah. wise. Um, oh yeah, I, I've only the only scene I've seen from dodgeball is when the guy throws the wrench at him because he's trying to get him to move. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge <laughs> you can a ball. Dodge a ball. <laughs> Fucking rip torn. That movie, I watch it a couple times a year. It holds up. It's incredible. <laughs> oh yeah, Jason Bateman is giving like he's oh, giving it. I love all. Jason Bateman. I mean, he just is serving, and he's like. He's in a very small amount of the movie, but every time he's on, he steals. He he's steals got that meme. Scene. What is it? Uh, the interesting no, strategy. The bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah. Yeah. See <laughs> if it works out for him. <laughs> and like Vince Vaughn is incredible. Like the first game they show up to in the actual like tournament, their uniforms get mixed up with a BDSM group. Yeah. And Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Vince Vaughn is wearing a choker that says daddy. And I, <laughs> let me tell you, it works for me every single time. <laughs> they like lose too and like make on a technicality or something. <laughs> they like lose the kids. Yeah. Um, um, I love Jason Bateman so much. And that is why I'm putting him in my next. Okay. If we use the term sports liberally, I am adding Jason Bateman's bad words as my 301 pick. It is the movie where he decides that he is going to be part of the children's spelling bee. And he meets up with this little kid who, uh, of course, is supposed to win because he's um, historically, uh, I think he's Asian or whatever, Pakistanian or something. And it's Jason Bateman competing against little kids in a spelling bee and he's absolutely hilarious oh yeah the whole thing. Yeah. yeah it's a great movie if you've never seen it and you love jason bateman he also directed it it's he's just friggin awesome in it it's the best thing so bad words is my 301 shannon um fun fact about another fun fact about uh dodgeball it takes place in 1992 and Ben Siller hit his wife in the head with the dodgeball for real. <laughs> Were they so, married then? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So pretty hilarious. <laughs> Can't imagine how that went that night. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to put another one of my absolute favorite sports movies of all time ever. And that's the movie Warrior. Um, this is a like UFC style fighting movie. Um, it is a lot more emotional than you think it's going to be. And I remember it was kind of under the radar for quite a while. Uh, the cast is very good. Um, and <laughs> the movie like goes in a very surprising direction that you don't expect, um, which makes for a good, really good 
like climactic into the movie. It's uh, Tom Hardy and Ooh, Tom Hardy, Nick Nolte, had me at Tom Hardy, and Joel Edgerton. And basically, the premise is this guy who is a Marine is who is like this great wrestler comes to fight, and then this other guy who is a school teacher is trying to earn extra money because we live in America and everything's expensive. And so he's like doing fights on the side to earn uh, extra cash. And they both end up in this tournament. Wait, which one is Tom Hardy? The Marine or the teacher? The Marine. Yes. And he just like, and he's very Tom Hardy esque. And he's like just a hulking mass of a human in this. This is pre Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight Rises. What about about Bronson? Yeah, this is post Bronson. Okay, yeah. Pre Dark Knight. And he's just humongous. And it's a <laughs> tremendous, tremendous movie. Nick Nolte just gives it all. It's stupid emotional. Oh. And it gets you going. Uh, I still Tom Hardy. I'm there. Yeah, on uh, Kyle's <laughs> press coverage podcast the other day, I did. Uh, that movie was in my top five all time favorite. Yes. It's of a any, tremendous. Of any genre, all time favorite? Okay. It'd um, probably be in my top 30. Yeah. That'd be All hard. Right. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, I have to think about it. Okay. So <clears throat> I think I'm going to keep steering away from baseball movies as like, okay. as much as they get me going, I'm going to keep steering away. Um, I'm going to go with rounders. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Nice. Pick. So if we remember to the early aughts, there was a time where ESPN was just showing poker all the time. And this was like, I think rounders came out a little bit before this, but like there was a few poker movies that came out. Um, I think Maverick was one with, uh, Oh, what's his face? Mel Gibson and Jodie Foster. Uh, and then there was rounders and then there was a couple others, but like card games were just getting big and they were just showing poker all the time on ESPN, like during, prime time you know whatever and there was a big time where poker was big uh or bigger than i guess it is now maybe it's in, in the zeitgeist um that's to say this movie some memorable lines just some unreal performances matt damon really giving it uh and then edward norton. just edward norton really giving it just being a absolute scumbag Real. and yeah and then just the end with like john malkovich He's just, he's, oh, he says, not, and I'm not going to be able to do a Russian accent, but he's like, yeah. give that, give that man his money. And it's just like, so good. Like I think about that line pretty often. I love John Malkovich. Yeah, um, he's great. In this. Um, but I, Matt Damon, I don't know, like Ed Norton, maybe, man, you're, you're I can, for I, me. I can send you a it's good like, $20. It, it's getting big. It's getting big. Your budget yeah. is getting big. Um, twenty dollars, twenty dollars a month, and this gets you four movies a month. Four movies? <laughs> I can do four movies a month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you don't, even uh, have, you don't even have to tell me if you just find some of them streaming. You can be like, oh yeah, I've rented that one. Yeah, yeah I rented that one. Wow, five dollars. I might need twenty more though, because you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with what Terry, the original Bad News Bears, um, Walter Matthau, Tatum O'Neill. Jack Earl Haley in his prime when he was a kid and he wasn't whatever he is now. Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't stand up to PC um, now, but at the time and still, it depends on how PC you are. It, there are just some really, not horrible, but some really questionable lines that children mm -hmm. say and that mm -hmm. Walter Matthau says to children in this movie. So if you are easily offended, I would not suggest the original Bad News Bears, but if you're not easily offended, it's a great movie. Tatum O'Neill playing, you know, this girl who is more worried actually about her um, upcoming sexuality than playing baseball, but she's like this really great baseball player and Walter Matthau is a drunk and the coach and <laughs> it's like the greatest thing ever so the original bad news bears is my 401 ralphie all right uh this movie is half sports and half fantasy it's uh <laughs> draft day 
the fantasy oh. that the Browns have a good Ooh. draft. <laughs> <laughs> We're not laughing at what he said, Jamie. We're laughing at you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mac, no matter what, right? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's my move. <laughs> my friend, I'm Josh, kidding, Jamie. I'm like kidding. I'm not. Brown <laughs> uh, yeah, I am laughing at Jamie. Go, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> that's because he took fucking uh, Little Giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll switch with you. <laughs> uh, so my, uh, let's see i'm gonna go i can't believe this is still on the board um let's see i'm gonna go with uh, talladega knights oh that's you ain't one, first man. you're last because <laughs> i mean racing second of course <laughs> geo you like that one huh yes <laughs> I do like that one actually. It's actually like a little pancake, man. That's it. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> um, I could pick Jamie. I I like that one because there are like great one-liners in there. And Will Ferrell, I'm telling you, Will Ferrell in small doses is hilarious. I just can't take him for a whole movie, but he always has really great lines that are in every movie. Then, and Teletica Nights is no different. So. They run at the end where they're like, it's really inspiring. It won't count, but it's inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my life, but okay, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Really cool all right, so I got I got back-to-back picks. All right. Uh, yeah. well, so, okay, so just you, don't be mad, but <laughs> I've, I've never seen any of the Rocky movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? But oh, hold on, but here's the thing, like they're so popular that like I I know what happens in all of them. You know what I mean? Like they're they're so like impactful to society that like I understand the first movie just like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna go out there and go fight the guy. They're gonna do this. And like, you know, so he, he so long? beats up so long? is that you? Yeah. So yeah, so like he beats up Apollo Creed and then you know the Russian yeah. dude in like the third movie or whatever it is, blah blah blah. blah. So like I, don't know. I was I was born in the mid nineties and I you know. But it's not really much of an excuse, but I haven't seen the Rocky movies, uh, whatever. But I have seen Creed and the Creed trilogy. <laughs> and the Creed movie, like, dude, I, I'm just going to say, my pick is, like, the first one. Sure, whatever. Like, yes. you could pick any other. Like, the Creed movie is, like, dude, like, Michael B. Jordan, put him in anything. I'm going to watch it because yes. he's just, like, the best. But then Preach. also the fact that we still get, like, there's still an intersection of like the Creed world and the Rocky world. Cause like Rocky shows up and it's like, Hey kid, you're going to go out there. You're going to fight. the thing. You're gonna have it. So like, we still Hello? get like, we still get those elements, but then we get Fine. Michael B. Jordan. So it's just like, oh all around, like Michael combat sports are all sorts of fun. And like that movie is just like absolutely incredible. Very well directed and everything as well. And then for, it's back to me again for the, it is okay. back to you again. So keeping it in the realm of uh, combat sports, uh, I recently got into professional wrestling because uh, my roommate is like a really big fan. And like, I didn't grow up with professional wrestling or anything, but like, it's cool to me now. Like I'm definitely enjoying it. So I've been it was trying cool to like before watch. You got into it. I'm sure, I'm sure it was, but I'm just saying like, you know, I'm happy my, for you. I'm so excited. Yeah. My, my mom was like, no WWE in the house. So like, you know, I had yeah. to wait till I was almost 30, but it's fine. Uh, but so I've been just watching anything I can, you know, like Dark Side of the Ring, like that show on Vice, like all that stuff. And then like there aren't a lot of movies, but The Rustler with uh, uh, Mickey Rourke and like mm-hmm. Marissa Tomei and all that. Like it's very depressing, <laughs> but it is from what I've gathered, catching up on like the history of professional wrestling and what happens to a lot of these guys like after their prime. Yeah. pretty accurate and yeah. like you know even if you're not a fan of professional wrestling if you're just a fan of just like really gripping you know dramas like you're gonna like it it's you know the by the end it's a little ambiguous as to what happens but you're just like oh my god man like i feel so bad for this guy <laughs> and it's just god i'm wearing a wrestling tee right now <laughs> there you go All there right. you go yeah it's a uh, it's a cinematic masterpiece. I definitely recommend if you haven't seen it, go out there and watch the wrestler. Didn't Mickey work get an Academy Award nomination for that? I think I so. Think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Comeback. Yeah. yeah. And Marissa Tomei is always good. Like I Dude, just saw something. What an absolute babe. Yeah. 
She was especially in that, in that movie. <laughs> it's Paul Discovery, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, Jamie. and your clock is ticking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so her, her, if uh, you're just starting to watch wrestling movies, there's an older one from the late 90s, early 2000s called Ready to Rumble. You should check that one out, it's a, more of a comedy. Is that your pick? No, no, I was just telling oh, her okay. uh, to watch it. Uh, <laughs> but right. my pick, I'm gonna, I can't believe this is still on the board, too, and I don't think it's gonna make it back. Uh, but Space Jam. Uh, with Michael Jordan. Right. Yeah, duh. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's got Michael Jordan. It's got Bugs Bunny. Uh, Bill, Bill Murray comes in for a little yeah, bit. He's, kind of, the end. he's like, how'd you get here? I was oh, I got a good talking. Agent. Jamie. Oh, jeez. Like, I was talking earlier, like, oh, yeah, you know, the, the Adam Sandler hustle movie, probably my favorite basketball film, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, Space Jam exists. <laughs> And I just yeah. completely forgot about that. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, um, uh, funny part, when Bill Murray came in, he wasn't even supposed to be um, in that scene at the end where he's playing basketball. He kind of shows up uh, out of nowhere, right? Yeah. He, he just shows up and they ended up filming it and they put it in the movie. <laughs> uh, the original Space Jam, right? The yeah. Num- okay. He's like, I got a good agent or some shit like that. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and Jamie, I'm sorry that it's you that I'm saying this to, but <laughs> Space Jam is a bad movie. It is. No way. <laughs> I think Lewis agrees movie. with Shannon. <laughs> it's a bad movie. I disagree. <laughs> That's, and you know what? That's okay. It's okay that we do. There's lots of articles about how bad that movie is. And it's funny because like I mean, people like trash the one with LeBron, but I'm like, have you seen the original? Because <laughs> not good. I mean, the original and one I is like Bill so Murray. realistic. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ralph, help us, please. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go speaking of wrestling with uh Nacho Libre with Jack Black. <laughs> Nacho <laughs> That's like, you know, there's a time where like they would make a cop yeah. one movie and they make like a serious version where they had like um, Paul Blart, then they made Observe and Report. I always thought Nacho Libre was like a comedy <laughs> version of The Wrestler, even though they're like kind of kind of like not like made around the same time, you know what I mean? Nacho Libre. I do like Jack Black. I do love me it's some Jack such Black. Such a good movie. <laughs> Jesus. Man, dude. With the one girl in the house when like, she's like, how'd you get down so fast? It was like tunnels or some shit. <laughs> this giant hole in the wall. Okay. Here. Pretty much Lewis is not going to get over this Space Jam pick. So he's like going to write Lewis, Jamie. when I'm in Florida next time, you and me are hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next pick is She's the Man with uh, Amanda Bynes. Chan- yes. And Channing Tatum. And I don't think I need to say any more than Channing Tatum. You had me at Amanda Bynes. <laughs> and Channing Tatum. Oh, yeah, and I don't really like him. What? I'm not a big Channing Tatum person. He's just fine. Just fine. He's like a lesser um, Tom Hardy. You know what I mean? Like, if Tom Hardy could act, he'd be this dude. <laughs> Wait, you mean if Channing Tatum could act, he'd be Tom Hardy? Yeah, if Channing Tatum could act, he'd be Tom Hardy. <laughs> All right, and if Tom Hardy could dance, he would exactly, be Channing yeah. Tatum. They each got I some... think Tom Hardy can dance. Can he? Stop it. Maybe. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't heart. bet against him. I wouldn't Please bet against him. Still, my heart. <laughs> um, uh, I want to see it. I, I'm going to need actual video footage of this Tom Hardy dancing. That is, because hmm. he might surpass Channing Tatum. But that movie is just great. Like she, I don't know how anyone mistakes her for a boy, but they do. And she's really a good soccer player. And well, maybe Channing, they did mistake her for a boy, and they were just like, "Man, I'm really into this dude." They, he was Channing Tatum was really into this dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like in Mulan, too, or something. It's always funny when they have that. <laughs> you got a bond right? Well, it's like, you still think he's a dude, right? <laughs> you, can't, you can't help but, like, be attracted to somebody who's athletic. True. So it's like, do it's I love my the best Olympic friend? Villages, man. What? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, in the Olympic Villages, when they have there, all they do is have, like, <laughs> Oh, right. my God. That, so like, honestly. Like people on the earth. Like, well, of course that's what they're doing. If I could live my life over again, I think a goal of mine would be to be an Olympian so I could just... Be in the village? <laughs> nothing like that is a goal. Okay. That, that is... Yeah. I Well, 
Okay. Uh, Shannon, you're up with your two picks. Okay. Um, maybe I'll get to a baseball movie. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to go with The Longest Yard. The one, oh. I do like the original. Uh, the one with, no. the one, don't yell at me, please. Not at a time like this. The one <laughs> with Adam Sandler. I'm taking my pick. Um, make come it. to the tree outs. <laughs> Fucking, what a banger of a line. <laughs> like, fuck. Bruce and then, like, that. I mean, there's just, like, line after line in that movie, and the cast is incredible. Yeah, and then, like, Kevin Nash is, like, crying because they put him on <laughs> hormone pills. Like, yeah. I mean, just comedy gold here. We got we got all kinds of stuff. He's Terry Crews just delivering <laughs> lines about milkshakes and fries. Just unbelievable it's, stuff. It's and, like, I don't really watch a lot of prison things because I don't like to, but that's yeah. a prison movie I can watch just about any time. It's a great it's a great remake too. Like, and even just the beginning where <laughs> Courtney Cox is like, get dressed, and he's like, she's got like a little sailor outfit for her. <laughs> like, holy shit, man. It's too much. Uh, it's it is that yeah, that was one of mine. Go ahead. Your next one. Okay. Oh my God, movies here. Um how many picks? What a pick are we on? You are on one, two, three, four, five. You have two more picks left. So Not, this one and one more? Yeah. Okay. Uh, God, uh, I'm going to go with Bloodsport with oh. Van Damme. I'm just going to lean into the fighting stuff, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, just... I literally just watched that a couple weeks ago. It does not hold up these days. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I can see why you would want to say something like that to me of all people. <laughs> I can see how you get there. I can see how you get there. That said, he does the splits on the chair in that movie. He's playing like a kung fu video game. And the guy with the wonky eyes, like, watch me. He's like, you're pretty good at this. You know, the guy with the Harley Davidson t-shirt. That guy gets completely obliterated later on. Um, Bolo, or, um, yeah, Bolo Young, I think his name is. The guy that's the main villain. He was like an end of the in dragon, right? Incredible villain. Un unbelievably incredible villain. The scene where Van Damme's blind and he's like, <laughs> get out of here. That movie fucks. <laughs> um, all right. For my next to last pick, I think I am picking uh, 2000 Gabrielle Union's Bring It On oh, cheerleading movie. Yeah. I did like that movie. Yeah. Why did you take my last pick? Why would you do that? Saving the best for last. <laughs> she puts the whore in horrifying. What <laughs> <laughs> is whatever that I say in my head to no, everybody. <laughs> Did I watch that movie a week and a half ago? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. I don't <laughs> even like Kirsten Dunst. I don't even like Kirsten Dunst, but I will watch that movie. I don't like Kirsten Dunst either. But uh, Eliza, whatever. Dushku. Dushku and, Forever, babe. And, and Gabrielle Union. Come on now. that mm -hmm. They're like. And, it, yes. Yeah. I mean. Yes. They were two of the greatest things about that movie. We don't and, allow tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. The way I had a boner when that happened. <laughs> just thinking about it now. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, I think Van Damme, Jamie. I think that Lewis is saying that Bloodsport. Uh, I'll let. Yeah, Shannon and Lewis are vibing right now. I don't know why or how this is happening, but it is because we um, have what they call a uh, taste. <laughs> um, okay, uh, who's after me, Ralph? Ralphie, your next All last right. pick. So. I'm going to pick a movie I saw once. I don't remember it being too bad, but there's only one <laughs> scene that makes it worth it. Uh, Benchwarmers. What is it? Benchwarmers with John Bench Heater Warmers? and David Spade. They have this, like, <laughs> they're playing this team who has this, like, Dominican dude as a ringer, full-ass grown man. And he's like, let me see your credentials. And it's just, like, folded up paper written in crayon. It's like, I am 12 with, like, a... I am 12. <laughs> 
That is pretty good. Uh, I've never seen it. And that's the only reason it makes my pick. That one scene. <laughs> that I am 12. Scene. I am 12. Jamie, <laughs> you're up, and we are all excited to see what you pick. All right. So, uh, well, you know, a baseball season starting. <laughs> um, recently, I went to go watch this movie, which I thought was a baseball movie. Apparently, Pitch Perfect has nothing to do with <laughs> pitching and baseball. <laughs> So I don't recommend watching that movie. Um, Acapella is <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, Let's stick it with the baseball theme, though. I want to go with um, A League of Their Own. Oh, oh uh, nice Tom pick. Hang, uh, Rosie O'Donnell's in it. Madonna, Madonna? I believe, is in it. Uh, that movie also. That one, that one line where it's like, there's no crying in baseball. Mm-hmm. That's just iconic. So, Tremendous okay, Halloween go. outfit every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just Girl takes doing that, splits like, catching the ball. <laughs> yes. Sick. And then, Behind the back. When he, first, when he first meets the team, he just like walks in the locker room and takes like a five minute piss. <laughs> everyone's staring at him. <laughs> Love that movie. And I, actually, I saw that movie in, uh, in the theater when I was like 10 years old. So I'll never forget that movie. All right. I think Lewis wanted you to stick with Pitch Perfect because um, <laughs> <laughs> um, as Erm said, acapella singing is a sport, so it technically could have been on your list, and it's a great movie. I don't know why you wouldn't recommend people to see it. The first yeah, one, it is a good movie. It's a great movie, yes. Um, Erm, your first, your next pick, and your last pick. Oh, geez. Uh, also, a, a quick shout out to the uh, A League of Their Own reboot that they did for Prime Video. I think there's only one season of it. I don't know if they're going to do a second season, but it's actually pretty good. So if you're a fan of the movie, like check that out. I had a really good time watching that. Um, all right. So, geez, this is tough. All right. Um, I think Moneyball is a really good yeah, baseball that's... movie, despite the fact that, so, like, nerding out just a little bit. I won't go too deep into it. That's part of it that bothers me is that in the movie they don't they fail to mention the fact that like Miguel Tejada, who was like an MVP at the time, was on that Oakland Athletics team, and they also <laughs> had the starting pitching trio of Mark Mulder, Barry Zito, and uh, Tim Hudson. So like, yeah, they were like a bit of an underdog, but they also had like four <laughs> extremely good players that they just completely gloss over in the entire film. But either way, like Brad Pitt's super good. Brad Pitt. Like, you know, Jonah like Hill. it's 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 very well. Oh, Jonah Hill's awesome in it for sure. You know, like very good movie. Definitely well done. And uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman uh, playing uh, Art Howe, the manager, doesn't appear super often in the film. But when he does, knocks it out of the park. Very, very good. Oh, knocks it out of the park. <laughs> this is baseball. Ah, there we go. Look at that. So I'm also going to make my last pick a baseball movie because I started with the best kids sports movie and then uh, the best just sports movie. Uh, nobody said Field of Dreams because nobody likes ghost baseball. And I, you it's know, on my list. It's, it's the best. It's the, you know, the best. The, dude, it is every time I see it, I'm just like, Oh, oh god by the end Angel like if you if you if you're not crying by the end then like i don't know what happened to you in your life but like field of dreams <laughs> is just like oh mm, dude also yeah james earl jones so many good actors in the ray liotta also very yeah. fantastic in that film rip mm -hmm. like yeah dude just shout out Club back to back baseball that's is this the one they build it and they will come is that exactly the, yes yeah, mm -hmm. okay that's where they have the field of dreams game too in like real life yeah. I had an emotional week, so I didn't want to mention that one because I didn't want to cry on the stream. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. Um, Way to go. Stop, Shannon. Because that will make me cry every time I watch Field it. Field of Dreams? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched it with my dad a lot. My dad died years ago. So anytime I watch mm -hmm. it, it's just, and by the end, I'm just like blubbering. I'm like, fuck, why? <laughs> huh. um, also, a buddy of mine played, well, a buddy. A buddy of mine played for the Oakland A's, and he said they were just the most cheap team ever. Oh yeah, Eric kept saying he's like, he's he's like baseball, but he makes more than the entire than the A's spend the entire roster. Yeah, he's yep. like he was. Like, it was really really bad. Like he could not wait to get away from that team. Um, Even still to this day. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't understand Lewis's reference, but oh, Phil. Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Sorry, uh, Jamie. 
your last pick. All right, my last pick. Uh, so I'm a huge boxing fan. Uh, I grew up boxing, and I used to box when I was younger. Uh, one of my favorite boxing movies is The Fighter. Mm. It's got uh, Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale. Uh, great, great movie, and it's actually based on a true story. Um, like Mickey Ward and Dickie Uckland were brothers. Uh, yeah. Just, it's just a great, great movie, man. And uh, Christian Bale just plays an amazing part. Like the first time I ever seen that, I didn't even know it was Christian Bale because he was so skinny and mm-hmm. like cracked out. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be my final pick. And nice speaking of that, I gotta, I gotta go. So I'm gonna sign off right now. Thanks for coming fun. on, Jamie. Yeah, it was fun. It was good seeing all you guys. Oh, uh, it was you. great seeing you again. Uh, keep in touch. I and I will see you guys. Love next you, Jamie. Time. See you next all time. Right, see you, Jamie. All right, later, dude. Uh, <laughs> um, Ralph. <laughs> all right. So, I'm gonna go Karate Kid. Uh, that That's a good take. Because Ralph Macchio and my name's Ralph. <laughs> also, oh, that's a good. Oh, that's, a good that's a good reason to do it too. It's a good movie. What was it? Who was saying it last time? Was it was you, Shannon? That was like he's actually the bad guy in the movie. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do like the fact. Like, I do like the idea of hanging out with like an older dude, like being like, "Oh yeah, I'll learn from this guy." But honestly, he's kind of being a dick. That's like a weird thing in the eighties, where like. Teenager inexplicably be friends with like old man, like Back to the Future is another one. You know what I mean? He was like a thing that was like, games, I guess. that was me. That was me. I did that. I did that kind of stuff. Um, I do it to this day. Uh, also, it's and you know what? Living here, you meet some East Coasters. Not to go into anybody, but you meet some East Coasters, and they like they come in. They're like, yeah, this place fucking sucks. I'm like. Slow down. Just slow down. <laughs> maybe if maybe if the kid had slowed down a little bit, things would have not been so contentious. You these coasters just buzzing around. You know? That's facts. That's facts. Just chill a little bit. Just relax. <laughs> Let things come to you, you know? Let Allie come to you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking about my ass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My last pick, and we're going to have to do honorable mention because I have two picks. Maybe. Oh, look at that. I know. I right? love it. I love it. My last pick is 1978 film, Warren Beatty, Heaven Can Wait. Mm-hmm. Warren Beatty plays a quarterback who, um, Buck Henry is his angel, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, he gets, he dies prematurely. Buck takes him out of his body because He's in a car accident. He doesn't want to see him in any pain. So he removes him from his body. It's like he's dead. So he has to send him back and he sends him back into this absolutely terrible uh, capitalist guy who is out of shape, isn't a football player. And Warren Beatty wants to be that football player again. And so he goes back and tries to make this guy redeemable. And he kind of does. And, um, you know, there's a love story in it too. But Warren Beatty as a football player who dies prematurely, heaven can wait, 1978, I think. Uh, <laughs> that is my last pick. Thanks. And Shannon. 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 Okay, I have a pick and then honorable mention, obviously. Obviously. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh, my God. I'm going to go with The Replacements. Oh, that's a good one with Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yes. yeah, very, very. Good I love, one. I love Keanu. He's great. That movie may be underrated. Uh, the love interest, absolute babe. The like sing, they like sing and dance a couple times. Hilarious. I mean, the whole movie is just so much fun. Um, Gene Hackman. I like love Gene Hackman. Like he just see, he's an old guy. Great actor, out with for sure. Um, the guy, the British guy that's like the kicker, <laughs> Reese. Holy shit! I mean, the movie's great. The, when the kid, when the guy pukes and they like move the huddle, and also it's got like the little giants thing with the one receiver who like has trouble catching or whatever too. Mm-hmm. I think, but he grew up as an and he grew up. Um, yeah, that movie's fun, and it's like based on the 
you know, true story of the strike. And then these guys came in and just. Yeah, played. exactly. So um, that's is my. It, uh, is my that pick. a line from the movie? I no, they play the song they danced to at the end. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. He's like a choreographed uh, dance or something. Yeah. Um, all right. My honorable mention. Wait, you're, what's your honorable mention? My honorable mention, I'm going to sneak into Cool Runnings and Miracle. <laughs> That's too. Uh, I know, I know. <sighs> cool Runnings. <laughs> Just <laughs> what a movie. A, ja a Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> John Candy is fucking cool as shit. Um, not necessarily that movie, but just cool in general. But he's kind of cool in that movie. Uh, Senka, are you dead? Yeah, man. Hilarious. Uh, and then Miracle, that call. Do you believe in miracles? Holy shit, let's get chills. I was listening to a podcast about people talking about it. I was working. I'm like, you know, working on this tank at the time. And like, I'm getting chills as they like talking about it. I wasn't even alive. I was not even a zygote at the time or whatever the fuck, you know. But how Miracle incredible. on ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my two then. Man of the House with Tommy Lee Jones, where he <laughs> plays. He plays this. What, uh, like what did the Texas Ranger? Texas mm -hmm. Ranger who has to protect these four cheerleaders who saw this murder. So oh, he, yeah. in order to protect them, he goes and becomes their cheerleading captain. Like I guess they're college cheerleaders and. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones and anything is great, but Tommy Lee Jones trying to corral college cheerleaders and the boys that are surround them is like absolutely fantastic. Tommy Lee Jones. I'm not sanctioning your buffoonery. <laughs> you know that story, right? Yeah. We told you, Carrie. <laughs> um, and then my honorable honorable mention is Magic Mike because do not tell me those men are not athletic because that's a sport. I mean, it was a sport for me. In a way. <laughs> in every way, any way possible, they're athletic. Dancing is a sport. athleticism. It is athletic. And I think they I think they might have been doing some getting to know people <laughs> biblically as well. And some people would say fucking is a sport. Uh in Magic Mike one? No. In Magic in the last Magic Mike, it's a it's half it's a porn show. I couldn't even watch it. I was like embarrassed. But Magic Mike one. Is I can watch it because they're it's you were embarrassed because you were watching it too loud or <laughs> no I was watching it without sound I don't need sound to watch it <laughs> like <laughs> just at the park exactly <laughs> at the bench <laughs> keep it down over there kid <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Ralph what's your honorable mention All right. let's move on <laughs> let's go Airbud man <laughs> ain't no rules that dog can't play basketball. <laughs> Dude, one of my favorite things to do is whenever Airbud is on, is to like act like I'm truly invested in every time you like, like as the game is going on, be like, oh my god, and like cheer and like clap for the dog. I there's love never, doing that. I think it's a great bit. There's an episode of that show last week tonight that John Oliver where he's just talking about Airbud and he's like breaking down. He's like. First of all, like, what does this even mean? Like, everybody just gives him the dog, and then he take the clown to jail at the end for some reason. <laughs> and he's like, he didn't even do that good. He had two points and a rebound, like two rebounds. <laughs> yeah, there's a great, there's a great funny or die skit where a kid comes home and he's the kid that got cut from the team, so the dog could be on the team. <laughs> and his dad's like, "What the hell, son? You got cut <laughs> because there's a dog on the team." And then like the next year, the kid's like, "Well, I'm gonna play football." And the next year, Airbud plays football. And he's like, <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Dad. <laughs> uh, okay. If, I was like, when I was looking up the best sports movies, there's like 10 Air Buds. Like, he's playing oh, yeah. every sport. Every yeah. sport he plays. It's a yeah. dog. Because Air Bud knows ball. <laughs> yeah. Who knows ball better than a dog? <laughs> no way. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. All right. Arms, your last honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, this... If we remember, uh, people of a certain age group, uh, the Disney Channel original movies, when they used to just, like, release them, like, once, like, every couple months or something, you know, like, you know, shout out, you know, Halloween Town, like, all those, you know, movies like I that. hope you're about to say what, you, what I think you're about to say. The best one, in my opinion, 
especially as someone you know that like really likes you know like punk music and like all that stuff because they put like songs from like the suicide machines and fastball and like all this other stuff in the movie brink the one about inline skating <laughs> and all that <laughs> shit. yeah dude like brink <laughs> is like the best it's like it's not technically like it's a tv movie so like it doesn't technically count as like it it's counts. Not, not theatrical but it like counts. yo brink is not only just a great sports movie, it's the best <laughs> Disney Channel original movie of all of them. And there's the a lot first of good movie, ones. it was the first movie I watched when I got Disney Plus. <laughs> yes, dude, straight up, like that's that's it. Brink is it. Like, if you don't same antagonists as the like, ones in uh, Little Giants, too. Yeah, well. dude, like the Cowboys, like if, yeah, same guy, <laughs> same antagonist. So it's like, like if you just blew a bunch of shit world, off my desk. <laughs> Yeah. No, but it's worth it though, because like if you're out there in this world and you don't fuck with Brink, then I don't fuck with you. Like that's like that's <laughs> just that's how this works. <laughs> I try not to draw too many hard lines in the sands, but the things you've said today about if you don't like this and you don't like this, I don't know you. You know what? Hard line in the sand. <laughs> All right. All right, I gotta go. He's gotta go. Tell <laughs> Shannon, our Instagram influencer. What's your Instagram? Americana. Americana Alan. underscore Allen. Oh, Allen. Thank you, Shannon. We'll see uh, you GL, I'll text you so I can send you some money so you can watch some good movies. Every month. Dude. Every <laughs> month. <laughs> monthly allowance. Monthly My movie monthly allowance. Monthly movie allowance. Love if you. Only, if only there was a blockbuster for you to go to. <laughs> Bye, Shannon. All right. See you all. Thank you so much. You. We'll see you two weeks. Bye. Bye. Um, Herms, where can people find you, my friend? Uh, uh, you can find me on the Twitter machine at Herms NFL. Uh, I write about football in exchange for money. That's what I do. <laughs> that is like very wholesome of you because there are so many other things you could do in exchange for money. I'm very, proud. very true. Very true. <laughs> and speaking of which, Ralphie. Yeah, my bad. My, my image froze, but I'm still here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're okay, good. Cool, cool. Yeah, awesome. Where can we find you? Oh, and where can yeah, we find yeah. your band? And so yeah, so it's all the robots on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, probably some other things. Whatever people stream from, it's probably on there. So other yeah, robots. The, yeah, and other it's robots. Pretty freaking good because I've heard them and I have them on my phone as one of my ringtones for I won't tell you who, but it is a thing that exists. Hey, appreciate it. Wait, do I have to pay you for that? No, no. no okay, no. cool. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know how those copyright like things work um, we, I, i'll wait with this one time <laughs> i appreciate it i appreciate it much um we will be back in two weeks with uh the men from speak on it and adam rink who will be mock drafting one hit wonders in any genre um Ooh. if you <laughs> if i i think that's a really hard topic it really is <laughs> yeah um so if you want to join and uh draft with these these wonderful men, let me know. Send me a DM. You're more than welcome to join us. I'm pretty sure Jamie will probably be on that one too. And Kyle, I think, is coming back for that one. So anyone who wants to join, just DM me. Let me know. Um, I so appreciate you. I so appreciate you coming on. You are a bright light in a dark Twitter world, and I appreciate <laughs> that. Twitter is dark. It's dark. Oh, sure. And Herms is a bright, bright light. It's a bright, shining star. Um, and ironically, I keep uh, my Twitter app on dark mode. So, uh, <laughs> so that is ironic. <laughs> um, Ralphie, I appreciate yep. you being on. Um, Always fun. Yeah. And good luck, your band. Um, let me know when you guys have the live show, when you're having a live show. Oh, yeah. And I will be there. Yeah, I totally agree with Jamie on that one. Jamie, I appreciate you coming on during your work time. You are spectacular, my friend. You are awesome, too. You are more awesome than I can say. Shannon, of course, always, always. Who did the guy say look like Lionel Richie every time he sees him? <laughs> so, oh, I could see that. Yeah. yeah, me too now. It's like lives rent-free in my head. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming on. And everyone who who listened in thank you if you were on twitter i'm sorry i couldn't get your tweets but if you're on youtube why don't you smash that like button and for those of you who are listening late because i put the wrong time in my apologies i'm so sorry i don't know why i put 3 30. i don't think i really did it i think the machine did it but whatever and um again thank you all for joining us we will see you next time in two weeks watch kyle on sundays 
nope in the two-point conversion. Wednesday, you have the armchair on going to two. Tuesday, you have the guys from Speak on it. Thursday, you have Jamie with uh, the cheat sheet, I believe. He is in the cheat sheet. I don't know if it's Thursday, but there are other shows that come after mine and that are really great. You guys, going for two networks is really great. So peace out. Love you all. Thank you.